Today we're going to be showing you how to install a short shifter in a C5 Corvette. Hi, I'm Jennifer and you're watching the Corvette channel. Alright, today what we're going to be doing is installing a short shifter on Project C5. Uh, this can be the next installment for this car. Um, you've seen other videos related to this car. This is the next project for it. Uh, we really want to thank uh, Mike over at TPS Motorsports uh, for sponsoring this project. Uh, without his support, we would not be able to bring these videos to you. Uh, so let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start taking this apart. Uh, the very first step is you have to loosen the uh, center console glove box. And do that. You have two plastic tabs right here and here, and those should be able to just lift out with your finger. If not, just use a small uh, screwdriver and they, they'll pop right out. Take a 10 millimeter socket. I'm just going to pop these nuts off. Then the next step is you're going to take the active handling uh, plate here. And this will just pop right out. All you do is just lift up from right inside here, lift up with your fingers and just pops right off. You have an electrical connection right here. Just press the tab and it slides right off. And then you have two more 10 millimeter uh, nuts right here. Next, you're going to go ahead and remove the power for the auxiliary uh, power plug here. And there's a small little tab that you, if you take your finger and push up from the bottom, then it'll just wiggle right off. Now you're ready to take this whole center piece, just lift it up from the back, and all you need to do is just slide it back. You don't need to completely remove it. Next, what we're going to do is you're going to need T15. Uh, torques and now one thing is with my uh, center console obviously it's custom it's set up for the double den so I'm actually missing a screw that a stock uh, C5 bezel would have um, and that screw would be located right here um, again mine does not have that but there's another T15 screw it's right in here. And then you have to remove this little uh, panel right here, which if I remember correctly, I think it's an ambient temperature sensor um, and all you're going to do is take a small screwdriver grab from the bottom because that's actually where you have the most meat and you're just going to pop it right off but you can see the bottom is the best place to grab it because that is where the most meat is the least chance of uh, doing damage to it you definitely don't want to break these two tabs okay. then you have one more T15 screw right here. Alright, now comes the fun part. 
Um, you have to take this uh, center cap off right here. And on mine, it's really easy. It's worn, and so I can actually just pop it off with my fingers. Otherwise, you may have to take a small screwdriver and just pry it out. But it just comes off like this. The next thing is what they call the demon key. Um, I've heard it referred to numerous times as a demon key because it is a nightmare to get out. Um, the best way to get this off, take two flathead screwdrivers, you can grab it and you're going to pry and it'll come out. That is the best way to get this off. What this does is it locks the shifter knob so that it won't rotate on you. Then all you do is just unscrew the shifter knob. And this should be ready to come out. Now you have your cigarette lighter plug right here, which there's just a little clip on here. Actual clips on both sides. All you have to do is just get one side to pop off. There we go, and I'll just pop right off. Now at this point on yours, you should be able to completely remove this. On mine, I can't because the, uh, the stereo that I have and this cable. So we're just going to set it off to the side. There are four 10 millimeter uh, nuts here you have to remove. And then this whole uh, gasket will pop off. You have four 3 8 inch uh, nuts here, or I'm sorry, bolts that need to come out. Now your entire shifter is ready to just lift right out. Now there's a small little plastic cup on here that you're going to have to take off to put onto the new shifter. 
And all you do for that is you just pry up on one side and it'll pop right off. I would like to thank the sponsors that are listed on the screen for sponsoring the Corvette channel. All right, here's the new shifter that we're gonna be putting in. And to give you an idea of the difference, Here's the one that we just pulled out, and here's the new one that's going in. You can see it's quite a bit shorter, and what that allows is it allows for a much uh, shorter hand movement when you're shifting. So instead of going all the way back, all the way forward, it's just going to be more of wrist movement to shift. All right, we're going to take this cup, and all you we're going to do is just press it onto the ball here. Trust me, it does fit on there. There we go. And all we're gonna do is take the shifter, drop it right into that uh, hole there, and now we're gonna put it all back together. So one thing to be very careful about is you do not want to drop one of these screws down into this tunnel here. Um, from what I can see, I don't believe this goes straight through. So if you drop one in there, you're gonna have a nightmare of time uh, trying to find it. So be careful when you're putting these screws in, not to drop them. And there's our reverse, so we're good. Okay. All right, so this is how uh, this gasket came off. Um, in order to fit this new collar here, I had to actually cut it off. So we did that off camera. And so now, I'm gonna put it back in place. It'll be a nice fit right over this uh, collar here. What we're gonna do is make sure all the uh, bolts are sticking up out of it nicely. Put our 10 millimeter nuts back on. What we have to do is put the uh, trim back on. We just have to make sure that it's completely aligned um, all the way around before we tighten it up. Uh, i got to take this nut off here first. Alright, 
So at this point, we're going to go ahead and put the uh, cigarette lighter plug back on. And I'll just press in from the back and clips right in. Make sure that you pull your wire connectors up through here while you're setting this in place so you don't get it all exactly how you want it. Then find out your wires are underneath this uh, brace right here, then have to redo it. Right, what I do is I just use one nut back here to help hold it in place. I just hand tighten it just to help hold it in place while we're getting on the final getting it all finalized and set up and there we go. Our T15 screw back in here. cover back on. Now we can unscrew this nut and slide the um, glove box back into place. But before we go any further here, I want to do a quick function check on um, the cigarette lighter, as long as it just works, and on the gas door, which my gas door is not working. And even though we didn't unplug it, it's just moving this around can interfere with the plug for the gas door a little bit. So that's why we function test it now. And there we go, the cigarette lighter's working, so that's plugged in. And there we go. That's why we function test it now before we've gotten too deep into putting everything back together. You know, you don't want to have it all buttoned up and go to the gas station in a week and realize I can't open my gas door. Have your two nuts that go back here. All right, then you got the two uh, screws that go in the back to the glove box here.
I have your two plastic caps. And then you go back on, they just press right down. Plug your auxiliary power connector back in. Then plug the active handling panel back in. And that's just gonna slide in at an angle and just drop straight down. All right, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the shift knob on. Um, this is the stock one that it came with and it works absolutely fine, except right now we're having 100 plus days here in Sacramento. Um, and so to put a metal shift knob on there with a hundred plus days you're not going to be able to shift your car because you're going to burn your hand the second you touch this um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the uh, stock shifter back on but it's still going to be the same concept um we're going to use this as a jam nut because obviously we don't have the demon key slot anymore to keep this from rotating around So get that pretty much centered up exactly where you want it. You can take an 18 millimeter wrench. And all we're gonna do is hold this in place while we tighten the nut. Now that shifter is not gonna unscrew on you. Pop your cap back in. And there you have it, there's your short shifter. You can see how much shorter the shifting pattern is on it. Makes the car just a little bit that much more fun to drive. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you decide to tackle the short shifter in your C5 Corvette, I hope you feel a lot more confident in knowing exactly what steps you're gonna have to do. Again, we'll wanna reach out to my Corvette TPS Motorsports Without his support, without his uh, sponsorship, we could not bring you these videos. So again, big shout out to Mike over at TPS Motorsports. You're gonna find all of his information linked right down here at the bottom of the screen. Um, thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.